What is up everybody on YouTube? This is your boy SRXGS and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my August favorites slash pickups. Um, side note, I did pick up a lot of stuff this month, so I will be doing another video on my recent pickups. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. And also, apologies if this video is kind of late. Um, like I said, my last video has just been really busy, so um, yeah, sorry for the delay. But um, yeah, in today's video, we're going to be talking about fashion. I got some skincare products, some hair products, and just like some room decor products uh, or items or whatever. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot, there's like a wide variety of a lot of stuff in today's video. So if you're interested, uh, please keep watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel because it would mean so much to me. And if you do like this video, be sure to give a give it a big thumbs up. And as always, my favorite videos just somehow being like 50,000 minutes long. So I suggest getting cozy, grab a snack and just chill. And um, yeah, I think that's it. So I hope you enjoy the video. So the first item up on my list for my August favorites is this uh, Neutrogena Rapid Tone Repair Moisturizer with Accelerated Retinol. Damn, that was a long ass name. Uh, but anyways, yeah, it's basically a moisturizer with retinol in it. And for those who don't know what retinol is, it's basically, I don't know, like a serum or some type of chemical that uh, reduces the appearance of red uh, dark spots and hyperpigmentation. So, you know, if you have like acne prone skin and if you were to pick at those pimples and you have sensitive skin and it turned into a scar, this bad boy definitely helps it out. I have been using it for about like three weeks to a month and I have noticed a slight but noticeable change in my skin for the better. Um, and side note, I also think this plus like the fact that I've kind of cleaned up what I've been eating, like I stopped drinking dairy and I've kind of like, uh, how do you say like, I've kind of held back on my consumption of like dairy products and cheese, especially cheese and like red meat and pork. I still eat chicken and I mean, don't get me wrong, I still eat those kind of things, but like, like I said, I lowered my consumption of it and I really do think it played a really big part in uh, my skin, uh, kind of clearing up. So yeah, I definitely suggest checking this out. I'm not gonna lie to you, this guy, uh, guys, this was hella expensive. Well, to me it was, I believe it was like 17 bucks for this small bottle, but honestly, I believe like it does work and I definitely recommend this. I do give this thing like a five star. So definitely check this out if you know you have like problems with your skin and you wanna like lighten up some scars and stuff. So yeah, uh, first item, Neutrogena Rapid Tone Repair Moisturizer with Retinol. Sticking to grooming slash beauty slash, I don't know, like skincare-esque types of products. Um, I Barbara recommended me this like, I don't, uh, it's called like a Gatsby wax So basically what it is, it's just like a wax and it's like a pomade But what I really like about it is first of all the smell fam <sighs> Smells so bomb <laughs> and um yeah, I don't know. I just really like it. Uh, I went to go cut my hair one day and he used it on me And I like I said, I just really like the smell and I like the way it hold it held <clears throat> Sorry, and I really like the super matte finish that this thing has it's dope it's crazy um the weird thing about this thing though is that um you can't buy it like from a regular department or drugstore you have to go to like one of those asian or mexican stores kind of like those mom and pop stores and you just got to find it um so yeah i definitely recommend this product i believe this was 11 dollars, which is not too bad for pomade especially like a quality one too uh, like I said, it dries really matte, which is really nice, you know, to give it like kind of that more natural vibe. And um, it's not sticky, which is something I really like because I do notice that when you do pomade, like when you use pomade, especially when it's like the more shinier ones, like when you try to run your hair through it, it's like all the product gets on your hand, which is something I hate because uh, I'm kind of like always on the go. I'm always doing something. And when I'm trying to fix my hair, I don't want that shit to be on my hand, you know? So I definitely recommend this guy. Um, yeah, second product. Uh, Gatsby Wax. Switching gears and moving towards fashion items. My third item up on my list for my August favorites is this actual t-shirt that I'm wearing right now. It's like an ASOS, it's just like a basic ASOS white tee or ASOS or whatever, um, but it has like a drop shoulder to it and it fits kind of slightly oversized. Um, I really like it, the quality is pretty good and the pricing was not bad. I believe this was like nine bucks or like $9.99 or something like that. And um, yeah, there's really like not much to say about it. I just really like it. And I really appreciate ASOS or ASOS um, because I like how they offer things at a decent price and the quality doesn't suffer, if that makes sense. Like 
I do notice like when you go to H&M and stuff like yes they do have some really great pieces but I do notice that the quality does suffer in some in some things I'm not saying all of their pieces are shit I'm just saying that some of them um, their quality is pretty questionable but ASOS never seems to fail me and like I said uh, it's just like a basic like drop shoulder tee and I just wear it by like rolling the sleeves and like I said it does fit oversized uh, so depending on what kind of like vibe you're trying to go for I definitely would suggest like if you're trying to uh, stick to like damn how do you say like if you if you don't mind the slightly oversized fit I suggest uh, staying true to size but if you want it to be kind of more fitted and you just want the drop shoulder type like detail then I suggest sizing down because it does fit kind of big um, but yeah I just like it it was super cheap uh, quality doesn't suffer and it's just an essential that I think everyone should have and I really do like the drop shoulder thing it's like kind of trending right now so oh yeah definitely check this out um, for all of these products I will leave the links in the description down below so make sure you check that out fourth item up on my list for this month's favorites is probably my favorite pickup um, as of lately or as of recently um, it is this oversized drop shoulder um, hoodie from Urban Outfitters and I really do like it because it kind of does have like that the designer aesthetic with like the no drawstring kind of like has the overlapping of the neckline and like I said I just have been really liking anything that has like a drop shoulder and the sizing does fit really oversized um just as a reference for like most of the stuff that I do where I am a medium but I did cop this in a small um so yeah uh, for those of you who are wondering, I'm 135 and 5'6 5'7, so you could use that as size referencing. But um, yeah, fam, can we just talk about this hoodie right here though? Like, check this shit out. Like, I believe this was only $49.99, which is not bad. <clears throat> Actually, that's a really good price for this type of style of hoodie because um, other brands are offering it at like 100 plus and honestly I don't have time for that and I'm not trying to shell out a hundred dollars just for a freaking hoodie so I really do like this one and I uh, Urban Outfitters does have other colors I believe it comes in black tan slash camel and uh, like a dark gray and this one this one's kind of more like of a taupe brown -y, like dusk color I would say but yeah I really do like it just freaking such a good quality piece too like it's hella thick um and i mean i don't know there's really not much to say about it other than that it's just like an essential hoodie at such a good price and like i said it does kind of give off like that designer vibes which i really like and um yeah so definitely check it out i'll leave the description uh the link in the description box so the last and final item up on my list is not a clothing or like a skincare or grooming type of product it's actually a home or like room decor piece it is my like my clothing rack to my right uh, i'll show you on like uh the split screen or whatever um but yeah i just really like it like i love waking up to it every day it just kind of keeps me inspired and i just like kind of showcasing like all the pieces that i've been really liking lately or like my recent pickups i just like seeing it kind of waking up to it and just knowing like damn i worked hard for those things and um yeah i don't know it's just very like aesthetically pleasing i would say and i did talk more about it in my room decor i mean i'm room decor my room tour video so make sure you check that out i will leave that link in the description box um but yeah uh i believe it was from ikea it was like 9.99 and it's just like a basic clothing rack but i don't know it does kind of add something to my room which is like it adds something extra to my room which is something i really like and uh, yeah i mean there's really like not much else to say about it it's just really nice very aesthetically pleasing to me in my opinion and um so i think that is it for this month's favorites um like i said if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up everything will be linked in the description box below and um yeah i think that's it fam so until next time peace